Hey, it's Devin here, and I've got some birthday loot to show off. Um, first up, well, today anyway, is Redbox Games Miniatures. Um, they're having a sale on, um, and so I bought some extra guys that I was originally planning, but I originally wanted the dwarves down here, and I wanted a few extras, but he didn't have them in stock. So, oh well, it happens, and I'll have to get some more at some point. But uh, I'll just show these guys off. They're pretty awesome. Um, really happy with them. Uh, this is just them basically straight out of the package. So, a bit of cleanup to do, um, but they're looking good. I really like them. I'm actually extremely excited about these guys. Um, cannot wait to paint them up. They will definitely jump up the queue a long way. Um, this is my favourite one out of them. I don't know. Dwarf with two-handed sword. You don't see that very often at all. And he's really cool we've all got the little cloaks furs and the rest of these guys are kind of like uh they're part of a unit um but awesome good selection of weaponry on these guys a couple of hammers a couple of axes and a guy with a sword you can see in there a little bit of cleanup to do but really really nice so that's all of them Yeah, they're fantastic. And anyway, because I had the sale on, um, I just bought a random selection of his humans. Um, and yeah, these guys are awesome, I have to say. This guy is fantastic. Nice big beard. Um, and they've all got like all their gear with them. So they're kind of, they're like adventurers. You know, they're not just just soldiers. Well, maybe they are, but you know, they've just they're like they're carrying a bit more gear with them. It's very cool. This guy here, massive sword. Um, one thing I noticed is that this is the scabbard that he's got here, and that's the sword. So I'm not sure. Maybe he's dropped his normal sword and got out the big two-handed sword. Um, this guy, really cool, nice-looking buddish. Maybe we'll get it in focus for you really cool uh, barbarian here this guy's the only one who's not a one-piece miniature um, it's just his sword I don't mind that probably give him that little bit more dynamic pose with the sword coming out uh, and some sort of druid here at the end um, really cool so uh, scale wise uh, the enemy dwarf I've got compare them to is Gimli here um, and if we grab a dwarf you can see Gimli is a little bit bigger uh, about half a head but I think it depends on which dwarf you look at yeah like this guy here is a little bit taller but that's can we even get that in focus for you um, there's something I noticed across the range, which is really good, that they're all a little bit of variation in their height. Each one sort of individually sculpted. The scale is fairly consistent across them, but they're, you know, some are taller, some are shorter. Um, and with the humans, you can you can see that straight up, just doing a direct comparison. Like, there's a good size difference between these two. Um, but the gear is all sort of, you know, comparable. Um, so, yeah, there's good variation. Um, if I grab, if I grab a, um, a miniature, there's Boromir. I'll explain why Boromir is primed at some point, but he's not painted anymore. You can see they're a little bit bigger than the Lord of the Rings guys. Um, oh, that's another Lord of the Rings one. But yeah, they're, they're a bit taller, uh, in general. Uh, they look like they're more comparable in size to, say, this Hell Dorado guy, which is more of a, um, he's a 30, 30-ish, 30 maybe 32, I can't remember how big Hell Dorado guys are. Um, but yeah, but there's a bit of, again, there's good variation across the size of the guys. Like this one here, the guy with the buddish, um, is probably the smallest one. But I like it. I'm really happy actually. I'm really excited about these guys. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I saw them. I saw some pictures of them, and then I sort of found out who made them. And then I sort of picked out the ones I wanted. And then when I went to go and order, he had a sale on. I noticed that on Facebook. So I followed him on Facebook, and he had like a 40% off sale while he was moving. So anyway, Redbox Games. Really cool. Um, and you'll be seeing some, well, at least the dwarves up soon anyway, on the painting table. Have fun guys, keep hopping, and I'll talk to you next time.